Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to simulate hair using the Bone Dynamics add-on in SimpliCage. As you can see in this animation, the hair has bones but doesn't move at all. We are going to use Bone Dynamics to make the pigtails dynamic and SimpliCage to create a collision mesh for the body. We start by making the bones visible so we can select them. Next, we enable the cloth and chain mode on the Bone Dynamics panel. Then, we select the pigtails bones and hit add bone dynamics. If you play the animation you will see that the pigtails are moving accordingly to the body movement. The only problem is that it goes right through the body. Of course, we can add a collision modifier to the body to fix this, but it will be incredibly inefficient because of the high vertices count on the body. So we need to use a proxy mesh to avoid clipping. The other advantage of using a proxy mesh is the ability to alter its shape. You can't do that directly on the body because it will be visible in the final render. Okay, let's create a collision mesh using SimpliCage. SimpliCage is a versatile tool that will help you generate physics cages and collision meshes that are ready to use. We start by selecting the bones that influence the area we want to cover with a collision mesh. Make sure you are selecting weighted bones and not proxy bones. You can verify that with the weight painting mode. Then, we go to the SimpliCage tab, select the body on the mesh input and enable the chain and collision mode. The chain mode is useful when you want to generate a single cage for all of the selected bones. Now that we have a collision mesh, let's check out the results. As you can see the bones are unstable when colliding with the mesh. This issue can have multiple explanations, like a bad face orientation or the bones are inside the mesh, or the collision outer distance is too high. To fix this, the first things we want to do is to tweak the collision modifier settings on the collision mesh. Start by unticking the single-sided checkbox. If it doesn't work, you can also play with the thickness outer, but in this case the single-sided was apparently the issue. Let's tweak the collision mesh a bit, so we can prevent both pigtails from sliding along the arm. First, we select the collision mesh and go to the modifiers tab. You should enable these buttons so the cage doesn't go to rest pose when we enter the edit mode. Then, we use the arrow key to find the moment where the pigtails hit the arm and slides. Because it will be easier like that to target the right spot. Let's extrude a bit the elbow area, so it will act as a hook and will drag the pigtail with it. That's better, now that we are happy with the collision cage, let's see how we can tweak the pigtails behavior. When you choose the cloth mode, the settings on the bone dynamics panel disappear, because if you want to control the rigidity for example, you need to modify the weight painting of the pin group. To do that, go to the object mode, and locate the object responsible for the pigtails movement. You will find it under the bone dynamics collection. Enable X-Ray to make sure it's the right object if you have many. Select the object and go to Weight Paint Mode. The red areas are pinned, means it will not move and follow the body. The blue areas are free to move. Green or yellow areas are a mix of both. Generally speaking, you want to use the Gradient tool so you can paint seamless transitions between red and blue. If you hit Play, you can see the upper areas are stiffer. And that's how you can change the rigidity in the Cloth Mode. Yeah. 
You can also go to the physics tab with the SAM object selected and tweak the values of the cloth modifier in order to change a bit the movement response. Once you are happy with the results you can bake them, and after that, you can delete the collision cage if you want. Alright guys, I hope you find this tutorial helpful, stay tuned for more and thank you for watching.